Today I want to talk about Nissan, the car manufacturer listed in Tokyo. It's been a very difficult 12 months for the company. The chairman, Carlos Ghosn, has been arrested and awaits trial. Mr. Sayakawa, the CEO, has announced a restructuring program, largely because sales have fallen and continue to fall. On the back of all this, the stock is down 50%, but we think the worst is yet to come. But before we go further, we must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations to the public and none of the following should be considered to be investment advice. However, if you are looking at Nissan, we think you should have a think about the following. The first problem is the company's governance. Now, this might have been problematic under Mr. Ghosn's rule, but under Mr. Sayakawa's rule, it appears that he's promoted his cronies into positions of power. The problem we have with this is that this is the same team that led Nissan into its current state of affairs, and they also seem to be somewhat anti-French. Normally that's not a problem, but given that Renault owns 44% of the company and they have lots of operating units that overlap, this is going to cause strife going forward. The second area of concern is their accounting. Now Nissan, like many other vehicle manufacturers, is effectively two companies. First, a car manufacturer, and secondly, a financing company. The reason for this is that rather than offer sales discounts to sell cars, they offer cheap financing. This has the benefit of boosting revenue, EBITDA and cash flow, because the costs of this are buried in finance and investment. Now we worry about this because inflated EBITDA often leads to unrealistic EV to EBITDA multiples and excessive dividends. It also disguises the risk that's inherent in the company because lease deals depend on the valuation used for the terminal value in the lease. And as the industry moves away from petrol cars to electric cars, we think guessing the value of petrol car valuations is going to be a real problem in the future. Finally, performance. Now we've already noted that sales are dropping, but this isn't the biggest problem. Our concern is that Nissan has some of the worst cash flow margins in the industry. The difficulty with this is their range and fleet is already old and needs refreshing, and we don't see there's any way they can do it based on their current cash flow margins. This means they're going to need to raise further capital, further diluting potential shareholder returns. Now, some might consider Nissan to be a value opportunity because it's already on a relatively low sales multiple. The problem is, as we've already pointed out, on current margins, it's destroying value. Now, Mr. Sayakawa has announced a restructuring, but we think ultimately it's too little, too timid and too late. These are just some of the problems we've identified at Nissan. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. And if you'd like to keep up to date with our videos and our work, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your time.